welcome to La La Loopsie Let's Create! This is my La La Loopsie doll, Scoop Swaffle Cone, and her pet cat. And this is April Sun Splash and her pet Toucan. I call this the La La Twist. And I call this the La La Loopsie Swirl. So, maybe you guessed. Today we're making No So Hair Bows for us and our dolls. Yay! La la, let's get started! For hair bows, we need pieces of cloth, ribbons, old t-shirts, or jeans, anything you want to put in your hair. A grown-up to cut cloth into squares for you. Tool, it's what tutus are made of. Hair clips or barrettes. You can get them from old hair bows you want to upcycle or pick up a pack at the store. String, anything you have around the house. You can use sewing thread or even dental floss. Get creative. Clear craft glue to la la fire bows. Random items from around the house to decorate with. Buttons, beads, pieces of yarn, ribbon, glitter, sequins, even pom poms. Safety scissors and glitter tape. That's optional. First, we're gonna make a la la fine hair bow from our upcycled cloth. Make sure to get an adult to help you cut the fabric. Lay out your pre-cut cloth on something flat, like this. I'm gonna use this lavender color. I'm gonna use this turquoise. Make sure to only use one piece, so if you have more, you can put it back. Fold it into a smaller square, like this. Fold it into the middle, like this. Yep, that's perfect. Now fold the other side to the center and make sure that it overlaps a little. Like this? Yep, you are doing a great job. Thanks. <laughs> Don't worry if it's not perfectly straight. It'll still look fantastic when it's finished. Perfectly imperfect. Now we're gonna fold it again, but on the sides. First one side. Then the other side. Now flip it over and pinch the fabric in the middle. And ta-da! An instant bow. You can use your thread to tie a knot where you pinched it in the middle so it stays in the bow shape. I'm gonna use a purple thread to match with my lavender bow. Or you can use yarn if you like. I'm gonna tie mine really tight so it doesn't break. Me too. You don't want it to fall apart while it's in your hair. Whoa, you're almost done. Yeah. Would you like me to pinch it while you tie it? Thank you. It's perfect. It's a great idea to have friends to help you when you're doing crafts. That's what friends are for. Now take your hair clip and use some more thread to tie it onto the back of the bow. I'm gonna get a pretty long piece. You might need a friend to help you tie on your hair clip to your bow. And I'm done. Wow, I love it. This is definitely way easier to do with a friend. Can you hold this? And if you don't have a friend handy, you can always ask your parents for help. go. Ours look great. They do. It works perfectly. Time to make our bows la la lovely. You don't need glue to make the bows, but to decorate our bows, we're going to be using craft glue. I'm going to decorate mine with these orange and white fish beads. I'm going to decorate mine with these mini pom-poms. They're so cute. <laughs> love bows. I'm so excited that we get to make our own. Me too. I'm so excited to wear this. Make sure to let the craft glue dry before wearing your bows. Ding! Our bows are dry. I la la love them. Perfectly imperfect. Now let's make the same bows, but mini for our dolls. Yay! I'm using this denim fabric. I love it. I'm using this 
pretty yellow. Just fold the cloth to half size. So fold it to the middle, then you want to overlap it. Whoa, this bow sure is mini. <laughs> Ta -da! Let me know if you need help. I think I got it though. I finished putting the string around it. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, buttons. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Thanks, you can. More. to love wearing these. Definitely. One more type of bow to go. And the tool bow doesn't need any glue at all. First, fold a piece of tool so we can pour things inside. I'm using green. I'm using pink. Start with the tool like this. Then you want to overlap it even more. It should like like this when you're done folding. Yep. It's good to have a friend help you hold it for this part so everything doesn't fall out. Just a little more should be good. That's the perfect amount. For sure. Make sure to only fill it up halfway so you can still fold it over and tie it off. Now time for the other side. That's great. Yeah. I'm gonna use this green washi tape because it matches with my tool. I'm gonna use this pink polka dot one. You can also tie the string in the middle before you start. I'm gonna put the sequins in. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oopsie loopsie. Ready for the other side? Yep. The last step is to tie your hair clip to the back of your bow with some string. You can also cover this thread with more washi tape or leave it as it is. Perfectly imperfect. We're getting really good at this. I'm done. approves. <laughs> Woo, Toucan loves the tool. Cat loves the mini pom-poms. 